Hi there! Zendisk placeholders are amazing to use in tickets, macros, or even triggers, as they give your messages a personal touch and automate some of the processes, saving precious time. Let's get started with a simple way of using placeholders. If you do not want to spend time writing your name or the name of a ticket requester every time you communicate with clients, just replace these parts with placeholders. Another way to reduce the answer time is to create macros, predefined answers, using placeholders. For example, we create a macro with liquid markups. Then go to a ticket, enter a slash in the description field, and select a macro. As you can see, our placeholders were filled up automatically. You can always click this button to select any required macro as well. So what about triggers? You are allowed to create triggers in Zendesk, and they also can contain placeholders. For example, we have an app called Proactive Campaigns, and it sends mass emails. However, we decided to create a trigger to send mass SMS, so we used a liquid markup here to make an action that sends a text. We could use a common ticket description placeholder or ticket latest comment value. The first one inserts all ticket information, including the author's name, time, and date. But we want to hide this unnecessary metadata from recipients, so we use the second placeholder. And finally, we would like to explain how to use placeholders for custom fields. For example, we need to automate sending the tracking number to our client. So how can we make a placeholder that takes this information from a custom field? Firstly, go to Object and Rules, Tickets, Fields. Then, list a new field or search for an existing one. If you don't have such a custom field, so click the Add Field button, select the number type, name it and save. In this column, Copy the field ID, so we use this later. After, you can add a creative field to the ticket form. Next, create a macro with a placeholder. Here we type a placeholder and paste the field ID in this part. The final look of a short code is like this. We are ready, so let's check whether it works. By the way, you can find all placeholders from this video in the description below, as well as related video tutorials about macros and triggers. So, visit our website to learn more about our apps, themes, and services, or contact our friendly support team. See you there.